In 2011, I was bent, broken, and teetering on the verge of hip surgery. Over the years, I've had every pain and chronic problem you can imagine. But fast forward to today and those pains and problems are gone, quenched by the cooling water of these nine simple solutions for chronic pain that I'm about to share with you. All nine solutions are worth their weight in gold, but the last solution may be the most powerful. So stay tuned to the end. This is Chronic Pain, simple solutions from someone who's been there. Simple solution number one is learn to listen. When I started my journey out of chronic pain, I thought I was already in tune with my body. After all, I was an athlete, I had good body awareness. So why then did I keep getting hurt? Why did I stay in pain? It wasn't until I started a daily mobility practice that things started to change. As I massaged, stretched, and strengthened my body, I started to be able to hear and feel deeper. The light bulb started going off. Each of these three different ways of working on my body, the massaging, stretching, and strengthening, allowed me to see deeper and feel more fully. It was as if my body started talking to me, and I started to learn how to listen. For example, early on, I kept injuring my lower back even though I was lifting weights with good technique. As I learned to listen to my body, it told me why. My hip and ankle mobility were asymmetrical. I just never noticed it before. This asymmetry was like having one tire of my car out of alignment, causing it to eventually break down. By learning to listen, I was able to improve my hip and ankle mobility, improve my posture and alignment, and prevent future breakdowns. Simple solution number two is miracle breathing. One day on my journey, I was having a bad day. My body was racked with pain and tightness and tension and just a gnawing like ache like everywhere. Out of the blue, I remembered a style of breathing I learned in yoga. I started breathing deep in and out breaths, <sighs> using a slight constriction in the back of my throat. It sounds kind of like this. In yoga, they call this ujjayi breathing or ocean breathing because it sounds kind of like ocean waves. Within seconds, my pain had subsided 30 to 40%. I was surprised at how quickly it worked. In fact, I felt it was a miracle that I could reduce my pain so quickly with just breathing. So I call it miracle breathing. Whenever you are experiencing a sharp or sudden pain or even a chronic dull ache, explore a little bit of ujjayi or miracle breathing and see what it does for you. Simple solution number three is body scan meditation. I started Vipassana meditation 11 years ago and learned the body scan technique. By practicing this technique every day, my awareness of my body sensations went through the roof, and my equanimity, my balance of mind, also skyrocketed. This allowed me to stay much more calm and relaxed when faced with the inevitable painful sensations of my various injuries. Since then, I've continued a deep meditation practice of two hours per day, as well as sitting and serving in over 30 plus meditation courses, including some longer 20, 30, and 45 day silent retreats. This practice remains by far one of the most powerful skills you could develop if you're dealing with chronic pain. In fact, Dr. John Kabat-Zinn, the creator of Mindfulness-Based Stress Reduction, MBSR, uses the same technique to help millions of people worldwide with stress and pain. If meditation calls to you, my number one recommendation is to take a free 10-day Vipassana meditation course from dhamma.org. There, you will learn and practice the technique in an ideal meditation environment, and you'll experience the benefits to your physical and emotional health that go far beyond just improving your pain. Simple solution number four is move more, not less. When doctors, x-rays, and MRIs told me I had femoral acetabular impingement and a labral tear and bone cysts in my hip, they told me I should stop running, stop lifting, and stop moving. I tried that, but it didn't help. What did help was moving more, but moving mindfully. You see, life is not black or white. It's not move or don't move, squat or don't squat. It's what can I do? If I can't run, can I walk? If I can't walk, can I swim? Search for things you can do and don't be limited by people telling you what you can't do. Simple solution number five is super friends. In my chronic pain journey, when my motivation was low or the pain was really bad, I found inspiration and support in others. My friend and mentor, Phil Petachenko, showed me that self-massage could quickly take my pain away. My friend Anthony motivated me to strive for more with his contagious enthusiasm. And many other friends inspired and supported me to stretch, strengthen, and learn about my body at deeper and deeper levels. If you don't already have a community of support around you, find one. 
Ask your friends and family for suggestions. Search Google, YouTube, and Facebook for groups or meetups. Simply being around other people who are focused on the positive and who can help you on your journey is invaluable. Don't miss it. Simple solution number six is smile. Similar to our move more, not less principle, the attitude of lifelong learning and lifelong exploration has led me to try new and diverse activities like yoga, weightlifting, running, frisbee, hiking, swimming, cold water immersions, breathwork, mindfulness, meditation, dance, massage, and much more. However, sometimes new activities hurt me. So the key was to do it with a smile, with a playful attitude and mindfully. If I tried a new discipline and I met my limits, I didn't force it. If I wasn't good, I didn't care. The journey is the joy. And speaking of joy, don't forget to smile. They've literally done scientific studies where subjects were asked to hold a pencil in their teeth, which forced their lips up into a smile. And even though it was artificial and not a genuine smile, it still made the subjects genuinely happy and reduced stress. This effect shows the facial feedback theory of emotion, which most of us just call fake it till you make it. The idea is simple. Your brain analyzes muscle tension, posture, heart rate, breathing, and yes, the facial expressions that you have to judge how you're feeling. Smile and you boost your mood. Frown and slouch and watch the gloom set in. I like to think of smiling as happening in several places. I smile with my mind, I smile with my eyes, I smile with my lips, and I smile with my heart. And then you can carry this whole body smile into all your new activities that you're exploring so life stays bright and interesting even if your physical body isn't perfect. Simple solution number seven is sleep is the magic pill. I went to a health and fitness seminar in 2013 and during one of the presentation, I heard a phrase that stuck with me forever. The presenter was one of the world's leading athletic development coaches and he said, everyone is looking for the magic pill. Well, guess what? We found it. It's sleep. Sleep helps literally everything. I found his words to be doubly true if you're dealing with chronic pain. Optimizing your sleep routines and your habits can make all the difference in the world. Some tips that help me are, use the three pillow sleeping system for chronic muscle joint pain, AKA have a pillow for the neck, a pillow to hug, and a pillow between the knees. All this cushioning makes you more comfortable and gives you better sleep. Also, meditate before bed. No phones or screens in the bedroom after meditation. And if you're in pain, maybe do a little bit of mobility work, some massaging and stretching before bed to make the body more comfortable. Sleep in a cold, dark, quiet room, or use white noise to block out any distracting sounds. And if you wake up, don't stress about it. Just smile, breathe, and relax. Being awake isn't a problem. Stressing about being awake is a problem. Simple solution number eight is keep it lean. Higher body fat levels, including visceral fat, are associated with chronic inflammation. So if you want less inflammation in your body, keep it lean. I was a nutrition major in college and I've been studying nutrition for over 20 years. So I've always eaten reasonably healthy. However, it wasn't until I started exploring a little bit of intermittent fasting and time-restricted eating that managing my weight and body fat levels became effortless and automatic. The pattern that works for me is simply skipping dinner most of the time. On an average day, I only eat two meals a day plus one super shake made up of protein and veggies after my workout. Your pattern may differ, but the goal is to find a healthy eating pattern that keeps inflammation down, helps you retain your muscle mass, but also keeps your body fat levels down in a healthy range. My personal rules for keeping it lean are, eat lots of whole foods, mostly veggies, eat lean sources of protein, drink lots of water, but minimize other calorie-containing beverages like juices and sodas, explore variations of time-restricted eating, intermittent fasting, and try to find the pattern that you can most easily stick with for the rest of your life. Simple solution number nine is your words create your world. At the beginning of this video, I told you that the last solution was the most powerful and I really mean it. When I was on the verge of hip surgery at age 26, I thought my life was over. It was like living in the body of a 90 year old in your 20s. Pretty disheartening. But amidst this sad time, I remembered some affirmations my father taught me when I was a kid. He taught me to always remember, how is this situation the universe conspiring on my behalf? Or, how is this situation perfect for my growth and learning? Another thing he taught me was, okay, what's real? Now what's possible? I used these reminders or mental models when I was at my lowest. When every part of my body hurt and my girlfriend was putting my socks and shoes on at the time because I physically couldn't do it, I asked myself, how will these pains and problems become the best thing that's ever happened to me? Those words quickly became my reality. I stopped thinking about my multiple injuries and chronic pains as a curse and started considering them a blessing. 14 years later, pain-free and helping others with chronic pain, 
I realized that my trial by fire of chronic pain allowed me to develop the knowledge and the strength to help others. Now, over 20,000 people around the world are using my programs to overcome their own challenges. Which brings me to you. If you're dealing with chronic pain, I'm here to help. If you want help fixing pain or getting flexible, check out our top-rated 45-day programs at gotrom.com. If you want personalized one-on-one -on -one coaching to overcome a chronic pain, schedule a free 15-minute call with me personally. You can do so by going to gotrom.com VIP to see if you qualify for our one-on-one -on -one VIP coaching program for people with pain and chronic problems. I hope this video gives you hope. And as always, please remember, you're just one step away from building or rebuilding your perfect body. Chronic pain, simple solutions from someone who's been effed up their whole life.